now the area's most accurate weather forecast with Storm Search 7 meteorologist Brian James. Good Thursday evening to you, Friday Eve, and what a Friday it is going to be. Lots of sunshine, temperatures climbing their way to the 70s, not much wind to worry about. Yeah, we have some beautiful weather shaping up across the area, and over the next couple of days, today, tomorrow, I should say tomorrow, and also as we head into Saturday, and even Sunday, the winds won't be bad either. That's one of the best bits of news we can ask for in March, one of the windiest months on average, and after the rainfall we had, kind of get a chance to get outside and enjoy it. And by then, hopefully the ground will be at least a little bit drier. So if you decide to play on the grass, it won't be quite as muddy. Hopefully. Let's see what's going on outside right now. Take a look at our school net sites. Uh, temperature wise, we're sitting primarily in the 50s and 60s. And as we head through the evening hours tonight, we will start cooling off, especially given the fact that, that air is starting to dry out as well. 53 degrees here in downtown. The rain, by the way, are two day totals yesterday and today. And you can see some good rainfall totals, especially once you get back toward the west. Bushland at about an inch and a half. Very, very nice. Carver Elementary Academy also seeing some good rainfall, about eight tenths of an inch, where it's 53 degrees. On the south side of town, uh, down to Canyon, it's quite nice. 53 degrees, and you can see at Canyon Junior High, six tenths of an inch of rain. Take a look at Sleepy Hollow, an inch and a quarter, 54 degrees there. Up toward the northwest, even uh, back toward Clayton, finally got some rainfall over the last 24 hours, 51 degrees there. Boy City, about seven tenths of an inch. Elkhart Middle School in South Western Kansas, an inch and two tenths. Yeah, you bet we'll take that. Balco, about an inch and a half. Uh, north of Guymon, since our school net site is not there, I got an email, or I should say a Facebook message from uh, Mr. King, about 18 miles north of Guymon, picking up 1.89 inches of rain. Thank you for the total, and yeah, that's definitely a good rainfall total there. About an inch and six tenths in Perryton, 51 degrees there, about an inch and a quarter in Canadian. You can see some of these great rainfall totals over the last couple of days. McLean, an inch and a half, about an inch and a third at the High Card Ranch. Wellington, about three tenths of an inch. And back toward the west and southwest, you can see the rainfall amounts taper off once you get into eastern New Mexico. But looking at Walcott, about a quarter of an inch, not too shabby, but well, Laredo picking up about an inch of rain. Take a look at Boise City High School since midnight, over half an inch of rain. Temperature of 54 degrees. Dew point at 38. Still a north wind, about 10 miles an hour. Take a look at what the uh, weather headlines have in store for us. As we head through the night tonight, the clearing sky will eventually work its way into the area, so that clearing trend will continue. Fabulous Friday, as mentioned, and you bet you seize the weekend. If you get a chance to get outside, do some grilling, whatever you get the chance to do, please try to get out there and do it because it is going to be a beautiful weekend. Storm system that gave us all that wonderful rain moving across northern parts of Oklahoma and wrapping in all that dry air. Still near a little band of rain, mainly across southeastern and eastern parts of Colorado. Overall, the drying trend continues for tonight as that storm system moves away. 60 in Dallas, 80 in Houston, 68 in Albuquerque. Take a look at what's going to happen as we head through the night tonight and during the day tomorrow. I will see a fairly clear sky. There might be a few passing pockets of high clouds, but that's about it. 37 degrees to kick off our Friday morning. Southwest wind light at 5 to 15 miles an hour. High pressure moves into southwestern parts of Oklahoma and northwest Texas. 61 at the noon hour. Light south-southwest winds eventually becoming southeasterly by the afternoon. About 5 to 15 miles an hour. 72 for the high. You like that? You're going to like Saturday as well. Look at this. Not a cloud in the sky. May see some low-level moisture start to creep in mainly on Sunday, but for the day Saturday, topping out around 80 degrees, just a bit more of a wind south-southwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour. But for tonight, a clear to mostly clear sky, clouds departing off toward the northeast, low temperatures back in the 30s and 40s, around 36 to 37 for Amarillo and Canyon tonight. Winds come around to the southwest late tonight and for the day tomorrow, temperatures topping out in the low to mid 70s, light southwest to southeast wind. For the day Tomorrow, we're looking for high temperatures in a mix of low to mid 70s, plenty of sunshine. And as mentioned, Saturday looks gorgeous as well. Highs around 80. Sunday, mid 80s, looks like a chance for a few late day, late evening overnight thunderstorms Monday into very early Tuesday. Uh, great weather coming out for the next few days. And, you know, by Saturday with highs in the 80s, so nice. It's just too bad that we have a bit of sad news to pass along and the we memorial do. service right. coming up on Saturday. All right, thank You're you right. very much, Brian. Mm -hmm. In fact, our photo of the day is a little different today. We're recognizing an Amarillo businessman who passed away today. Bill Ware was a lifelong partner with his father and brother in managing Amarillo National Bank. Ware was 63. He is survived by his wife, four children, his father, brother, and seven grandchildren. Our thoughts and prayers are with them this evening. 
We'll be back with a check of today's medical breakthroughs.